Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So today we're playing defense again, and what we'll be doing is installing Snort, which is an intrusion detection system that is host-based, and you can install it on your Windows operating system. And what it does is that it will intercept all the packets of TCP IP traffic that is coming in and out of the operating system. And from there, you can actually put in some of the advanced rules to actually see whether there are indicators of compromise, indicators of attacks, and directly from there, you'll be able to do a lot of processing and rule-based engine classification to see what kind of attacks is going on. So it's a fantastic way for you to install, set up an intrusion detection system in each of your server or machine and be able to detect and flag out potential threats. So without further ado, let us get started on today's tutorial. So over here, I have Windows operating system running and we can go ahead and log in. So of course, I got a username as Loy Liang Young. And we can enter your password and we can access into the operating system. So like I mentioned earlier, we are going to install a intrusion detection system into a Windows operating system. So what you can do is you can launch your favorite browser. So it could be Firefox, it could be Chrome, it could be Internet Explorer. And what we can do is we can enter Snort Download. And once you're in, you can actually go into the first site, which is snort.org. So once you're in, you can actually scroll down a little and you can zoom into the binaries. And in the binaries, you can see there is a snort 29151 installer.exe. So click on that to go ahead and download this executable. So once we're downloading and we have the executable running, so what we can do is we can go ahead and run anyway. So this will help us install snort into the operating system. So of course, you can read through the license agreement. And once you click I agree, there are three key components. So one is Snort itself, which we can also move on into the dynamic modules as well as documentation, which has some of the key information. And once you're done, you can go ahead and click Next. So we will install it directly into the default folder, which is C drive slash Snort. And this will only require 7.5 megabyte. Click Next on that and the installation will complete very quickly. And of course, you can show details to see what are the things that have been generated and so on. So you see a creation of folder. You see the creation of binaries being. And then as you scroll down, you can see rules and pre-processing rules and so on. So once you're done, click close on that. And a pop-up brings you up and say that we require Snort 4.1.1 to be installed on this machine. So the only way is that you must install this in order to get the intrusion detection system running. So click OK on that, and of course from here, we can actually go into Terminal. So you can go ahead and enter CMD, and once you're in CMD, we can actually adjust the font size so that you can actually see more clearly. So we'll use the font of 24, and of course we can CD dot dot. We can go into C drive, and we can CD into Snort, and we can enter DIR. So this is the directory of Snort, and of course in the directory, we can see a lot more information. And we can see it into bin. So this is where all the binaries are being kept at. And if you enter snort.exe, you will realize that you get a failure because we do not have a win pcap installed. So go back into your favorite browser. And this time around, we are again going back to your favorite search engine. And we are going to enter win pcap download. So once you do that, again, we are going into the first page or the first result coming out from the search, So which is win pcap download. So winpcap.org, click on it, and of course here we have a key information, and it says Installer for Windows. Click on Installer for Windows, so likewise it will say Save File. So we can save down the file into your system, and once the download has completed, you can click on winpcap, and we can install it. So what we see here is the Setup Wizard, and of course you can read through the License Agreement too, and click I Agree. And of course, automatically start the WinPCAP driver at boot time. Click install. And once the installation is completed, what we are going to do right now is we are going to restart the computer. So to ensure that all the drivers and all the information is being installed properly into the operating system. And then we'll be able to start the intrusion detection system very quickly. So now we are back up into the operating system and we can go ahead and log in. So of course, enter your password once more. So right now we got both Snort installed as well as Win PCAP. So with it installed right now, what you can do is you can actually go back into CMD, which is Command Prompt, launch Command Prompt, CD into C drive, or what from there on we can actually go into Snort, 
and cd into bean and then do a dir and we're going to use this chance to actually launch the snort executable so we can go and enter snort.exe and once you do that we see that on top we got all the information running so we have all the packets details that are being pushed out and we can see what's being transacted and of course this will actually help us complete the setup the installation and setup of snort which is an intrusion detection system on your windows operating system so there you've seen it, how quickly we could actually install Snort and WinPCAP to start dumping out information, especially in terms of the TCP IP traffic within an operating system. So Snort is an intrusion detection system, and we are going to start discussing on subsequent tutorials on some of the advanced rules or use cases that we can develop to detect potential threats like indicators of attacks, indicators of compromise, whether there were de-authentication attacks coming into the server or into the services, and from there, we can actually be able to find out and flag out in advance potential threats that are looming in the network enterprise. So I hope you've learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll try my best to answer any of those comments. So remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.